Hey Grade One Twos, welcome to Art. For this week we are looking at the artist Giuseppe Archimboldo. Now he's an Italian painter and he made artworks way back in the 1500s. That's over 500 years ago. He was very, very famous for his particular types of painting. I'm gonna show you an example of one of his most famous artworks. And you'll notice there's something a little bit strange about his work. So when you look at this, you might see one of two things. You might see a portrait of a man, but you also might see a whole lot of fruits, vegetables, and flowers. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So grade ones and twos, your task for this week is you are using Giuseppe Archimboldo's work as inspiration, combined with what you have learned about surrealism. Now, if you don't know what surrealism is, you need to go and watch the previous video that I posted. It will give you a bit of an understanding of what surrealism means in art. Basically, it means when we put unexpected things together that don't usually go together in everyday life. For example, maybe when you're drawing a tree, you make it wearing a scarf. Or maybe I have a cat and I put glasses on it. It's unexpected things that don't go together, which is exactly what Giuseppe Archimboldo's work is. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. Our task for this week, grade one, two, is we are making a face inspired by Giuseppe Archimboldo. Okay, so I've got a nice surface here. I'm just using a white, large piece of paper to make my face onto. You might have a table or maybe you're doing it on the floor. That's okay. So you've got a few options with your face. You can make as many as you like. The first one I'm going to make is using things from my kitchen. So I've got some biscuits here, some dried chili, fresh chili, whole carrots, slice of lemon, which probably was going to go in my compost. Same with my cut up cucumber. And I've got some lettuce as well. Now this lettuce was going to go into my compost. It's really important though that you ask your parents permission if you're allowed to use some fruit, fruit and vegetables. Otherwise you might not be eating anything for dinner. So what I'm going to do is start arranging all of these things on my bit of paper. So here you have my Giuseppe Archimboldo inspired face. So this one I've used fruit and vegetables from around my kitchen. I'm going to wipe this one clear, make sure to put everything back where you found it and I'm going to start another one. Grade one, two, this is my second version of my Giuseppe Archimboldo face and this time I haven't used fresh vegetables and food. This time I've used anything I can find in my kitchen. I've got forks and spoons for the hair, wooden spoons for the ears, for my cheeks I've got tea bags. Here I've got a dishwashing detergent, these little satchels here and I thought they looked like eyes and they're on top of black lids from my pantry and I've also got little toothpicks as my eyelashes. So you can use anything that you find. You can also use things like stationery, so pens, pencils, rubbers, things like that. I can't wait to see your faces. Thanks grade one, two. I can't wait to see your Giuseppe Archimboldo faces. Um, I'm going to put a link up on Google Classroom. You can upload a photo of your face there. I can't wait to see them. Bye.